Hello, welcome back to my channel. I also wanted to say a big welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining me in this journey of junk journaling as I learn, <laughs> because I'm learn I'm still learning. Uh, so welcome and thank you for joining. And in today's video, I want to do a little bit of crafting with my scraps of papers because my box of scraps keeps growing <laughs> instead of using it. So I want to decorate this type of envelopes to make pockets like these ones. Um, so I made these pockets, um, you can see here, with window envelopes like this one. So that's what we're gonna do today. I like to use the window envelopes because they look very cool. Um, you can put things inside. And I have a specific goal for this one. I want to use my large um, insect specimen card. This one that I showed you in the last video. I want to put it in one of these envelopes. So I had made this one, but it's too small. So it has to be this size. Um, but uh, I made this envelope this pocket thinking of another journal so i want this one to look more scientific looking if we can make it look more scientific looking um because this has the lace so i don't think it goes with this thing i mean it could go it whatever you want but what i want uh for this one it's more like this a style like this so um i'm gonna do something like this but we're gonna switch it up a little bit also, I wanted to show you that I've been working more with my scraps, making clusters. And my son, who's seven, saw me the other day and he also wanted to make a cluster. So I have one here, <laughs> the one that he made. Uh, I thought it was super cute that he wanted to join me. He, he, he did all the inking and he glued the, the papers, he stamped and he put some stickers. <laughs> He really enjoyed it. So this is this is a great activity for kids and I'm sure I'm gonna be able to use this in the journal. So a different way to use your scraps and involving your kids, if you have kids. And so let's get started. So first um, I'm gonna trim this. I think I'm gonna use this one as a template because that's the easiest way to do it. So I'm just going to go, I'm trying to line this up. I know that this is the size that's going to work for me, uh, but you can cut it whatever size you want. So this, I know this size is going to work for me and I need my paper trimmer. So this is pretty simple and I've done other envelopes, other type. Yeah, I've made, I've made pockets with envelopes. I have other videos with this, but there there were different type of envelopes. Uh, I mean, I know this is not something new. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> this is not this is not the first time I'm working with window envelopes, and I'm, but I really um, like to use them. And I'll show you something. Give me a second. Okay, this is why I like to use them because, oops, I have a full, I have a box full of them. <laughs> I've been collecting them for a while since I discovered that they all have different designs in them. Well, look at that one. Some of them are white, but this one is pretty big, it's nice. Uh, but you know, I received so much. So much junk mail and bills that you know pay all my bills online i don't need the envelopes i keep going paperless but i keep receiving more and more and more so uh, i need to use them <laughs> so uh the different thing that i want to do with this one is <clears throat> i want to make sure that i cut it right the right size for example, this one, it's decorated 
in this direction. So if I put in a page, it's going to go like this. But I want to put this in my blue journal here. Um, this is a little bit too wide. It's going to be a little bit too wide for my blue journal. That's why I made the smaller size. But the smaller size is too small for my for my specimen card. So um, what I decided to do is that I'm going to put it on the side like this, not on the cover, obviously. I'm just showing you the cover because I haven't I haven't chose a page yet. So instead of going in and try, trying to find a page, I'm just showing it you here. And then so we can insert our in, um, specimen card on this side. I think it's still going to look cool. Could also be, no, I don't want the top going that way. But um, it could go this way too. <clears throat> but in any case, I just needed to, to face, huh, I have to actually decide. Okay, so I think I'm going to do it this way because if I do it this way, the numbers are going to be up and down, you know, because I can't do it like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna glue it near the edge of the page. Or it could it could even go in the middle, but the the opening's gonna be on this side like this. So this is gonna be my top. And I'm trying to I'm talking about this um because this is how I'm gonna decorate it using my paper scraps. Basically, uh, this is going to be the top, so whatever I put here, it has to be on that orientation. So the first thing we're going to do is just to glue the part that it's open. Okay, so you have to be very careful to use very little glue. So a glue with a fine tip, like my art glitter glue, it's great for this because you don't want to take up too much space. So I'm gonna go, oops, I can't do a straight line. I'm gonna go like that. And, oops. So that should be enough. Uh, just close it. Let's see. And I'm gonna test again and see if it fits. Yep still fits okay good so um next uh we're gonna start choosing our papers that are gonna go in there so i'm gonna grab my scrap box <clears throat> and i want anything like scientific looking kind of so i may use more of my Journal, my um, scientific journal pages that I've painted, the ones that I used to decorate the specimen card, so they will go with the same theme. I have this, this is a notepad, like a, not, a little notebook uh, that I really like the color and it has lines and then I just stamped all over. I actually use a piece of that here. Um, I think it looks great. <laughs> So this is another way that you can make, you know, background paper. Just go and stamp things if you have. Okay, so I have a piece of uh, the graph, uh, some graph paper, see all this little stuff. Let's see what else. Um, I have more of that. I think I'm going to start with that and then I'll add some washi tape and stickers and uh, whatever whatever you, you want to add. I think, I mean, I added lace on this one and I really like it how it looks like, but I'm working on another lacy type of, not lacy, <laughs> and another journal that has a uh, a lot of lace in it so i think this one's gonna go in there um this one i don't want it to have lace but you can add i mean i have a piece of lace here 
You cannot lace on there. Or even, uh, oops, there's a hair. Or even uh, around the window, I think it looks great. But that's not, that's not what I want to do today. So I have to pick what papers are gonna go in here. And so the difficult part here is that you see that the corners on the windows are round. So you have to decide whether you want to keep the roundness or you, you're gonna glue a little bit farther in so that you can actually make it um, a straight corner. So that's, that's a decision that you have to make. So I may use this one here like that. Yeah, so let's start gluing. So the way I do this, because I'm just using scraps, I'm not gonna cut any of the scraps for now. Um, <clears throat> I may ink them though, like the, the edges that I know are not gonna, I'm not gonna cut later, in this case, this one. And as we go, and if we need to uh, cut something, then I'll do. But for the most part, I cut everything at the end after I glued it on the envelope. So I cut to the shape. And I'm going to use glue stick. Where is my glue stick? It's not here. One sec. I found it. <laughs> so um, this glue stick sticks to the plastic. But if yours doesn't, you're going to have to figure out a glue that would stick to the plastic window. Okay, I grabbed my uh, forceps because for me it's easier to work with this. Uh, so I'm going to do, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to try to go a little bit over the window. Uh, can you see? So that I can make a straight edge and that's okay if i don't cover the whole um this whole section here because a lot more scraps so i'm gonna do with that one <clears throat> it's not very straight and it's kind of bothering me a little bit because it has the line but i don't know huh <sighs> it already stuck okay that's okay i'm gonna rip it if i try to fix it i'm looking for oh here okay <clears throat> so i have that here uh i'm gonna just trim this edge here because it doesn't i'm a little bit messy today because it's not straight and it's just i don't like it <laughs> So we're gonna do that and then I think I'm gonna go here and go a little bit over. It's really bothering me that these squares are not straight but I mean the, 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 the squares in the paper but never mind. So here you can go over a little bit. Uh, you can go over all the way. I've done that. Um, which I may do that. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go over all the way. So I'm gonna ink, well, it's not my ink, that's my glue. I'm gonna ink this side. This is the one that's gonna be facing the window. So I'll ink uh, all the edges again, but the ones that it's facing the window, uh, because it's gonna be glued down, it's gonna be hard to ink not impossible you can still ink things that you've glued i've done that but um wow they were nice glue things in here okay i don't know what this paper is about but look at those beautiful images wow i shouldn't have used this for Oh, these are these are nematodes. Oh, Microtubules. Okay, <laughs> I shouldn't have used this page for gluing. I didn't read what it was about. No, I'm very interested. <laughs> I'm sure there's more. 
from where this came. So I'll try to <laughs> to find more. So uh, and this one I'm not gonna add glue. Oh wait, this needs a little bit of ink here. And I'm not gonna add glue all the way because I know that it's not gonna be. Um, I need to cut it. So I'm just gonna try to go as straight as I can like this and I know like it looks kind of messy right now but you'll see at the end it's not gonna look that messy and uh, so again I need to give this orientation so the numbers are here um, I have this other one here we can go there yeah I think we can do that one I keep grabbing my glue stick thinking that's my my inker but I like this is coffee dyed and it has kind of a pattern in there I like it so I'm gonna do it like this so it's going to overlap some This is just basically gluing and collaging over. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. I wanted more overlap, but it just didn't happen. <laughs> As I was saying, this is just gluing and collaging on on an envelope. It's very relaxing and fun. So I'm gonna now. I'm gonna cut this part here because I may actually use this a little bit. Like this here, in this corner. It already had glue, so that's why I wanted to just go and use it. Um, and I'm actually gonna go and cut all of this so that I can see how it's looking. Okay, that's looking good. It's not very straight, but that's okay. <clears throat> so because this is the part that's going to open, I'm going to add some washi tape because I really like this to be stronger, not so flimsy. So we'll do that later. I could actually... I'm, I'm gonna do that. Maybe I'll, I'll do like a thumb nail. Thumb nail? No. Thumb tack thing. Like a circle punch. Uh, we'll see if that works. Okay, maybe um, I can do this here. Yeah, I think that's gonna work on there. Oh, but I forgot to ink it. The magazine paper, it's very thin. Uh, so you just have to be very careful because, especially because this one, it's painted with watercolors, so it's been wet and it's old, you know, so not that old, but these magazines are like 10 years old, I think. So, yeah, things are getting old. Oh, oh what is it to be a little bit higher? A little bit higher. <laughs> like, can you, um, is it hard for you to realize that things that were, that are from 2013 or 10 years ago? I mean, it's, soon it's going to be 11 years. I still feel like 2013 was two years ago. <laughs> but now, um, life is going fast. Okay, so maybe uh, here at the bottom, I'll use this one. I'll, I'm going to cut it because I'm not going to use the whole thing. But I want to use uh, will it cover. Yeah. I want to use a little bit of this. I'm going to have to cut the, that part a little bit of that stamping. And I like the lines. I mean, I could just stamp that, but I really like 
the lines in the paper. So I have to line it with that one. So that's what I'm gonna do there. So again, I just glue everything that's gonna go. Not at the bottom edge, not at this edge, because that one I will ink later. So I'm just gonna, I have to line this up with that paper. There we go. If you're like super perfectionist, maybe you're gonna struggle with this project. <laughs> like the way I've done, uh, I've decorated envelopes before is just, I just cut the right amount of paper. I don't collage. And so I think uh, collaging using scraps, it has a challenge in that uh, you're not, nothing's going to be straight and perfect because you're not measuring. At least I'm not measuring because I could just go and measure all of these little things, but then that would mean that I have to spend a lot of time measuring. And the idea is to use the scraps and not... And not, um, you know, cut paper, but it's not scraps. <laughs> I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Uh, the idea is that it's going to look a little bit messy. So I may use this, like text, like this. <clears throat> I'm going to cut, uh, when, when I have them overlapping, I rather have them in a straight line rather than, you know, the, the crooked lines because the transition is easier. Um, so I'm going to do this, this part, or maybe you should do it like this. How should the text go? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna, I have the TED numbers going that direction. So I think I've mentioned before, I struggle with allergies all year long, basically. And then um, in winter, I have less allergies. I still have my dust allergies, but I also, I'm very sensitive to the dryness in the air. Okay, so now we have all the papers put together and I'm going to trim all the edges. I'll be back. This is how it looks like after I trim all the edges and now we're ready to start decorating. Um, I forgot to mention, you can, you can cover the back if you want or ink inside, but I like to keep that design especially because this is going in my blue journal and uh, this is bluish color. My blue journal, something has blue always. So I like, and I like that particular design. So if you see, I, I always keep it. This is it's a little bit darker, but it's the same pattern. Um, but you, you can cover that if you want. Um, I can see that here, this is not fully straight but again what did I say I thought that my specimen cards were from the 1900s <laughs> so they're not gonna be perfect so to decorate I'm gonna use this washi tape I like this one because it has it has florals and it has like vintage stuff and scripts and um like this one that says number you know it's, it's cool it's cool for this type of project i think i'm missing a couple of rolls here but i don't know where they are because i have the spaces or maybe because i'm using them they're just getting thinner and thinner so i think i'm gonna use this one, Wait, I have to think. Or do I want, 
have this is more like a newspaper oh uh oh <laughs> i ripped it i think that wasn't fully glued and it's too it's actually this one it's too thick it's gonna cover the whole thing um i think i've done this before and i'm doing the same thing i did before so this is the one i'm gonna use it has like notes handwritten notes and stamps so i think it can go well with this and i'm gonna add more glue to it but first i kind of roughly want to measure what i want before i cut it and just gonna put it oh, i actually want to put it where those where those other two papers met so that I can cover the the edges. Um, so I use washi tape in this project to actually do that, to cover the intersection of the two papers. Oh no, I messed it up. But, and you can do it however you want. So uh, we're gonna solve a problem now. So this lifted, I think when I trim it, I just, I move the glue. So when that happens, I use my my glit, my art glitter glue because it's the tip is so fine that I can actually go to those corners and and add glue just in the place I want it. So I think that's fine. And then I trim the your bits okay i normally save all of these bits but that one it didn't work to be saved didn't want to be saved but this one i got a little bit a tiny one this one goes in my bullet journal okay so we have that um make sure that it's so this is going to be that side. Now we want to add more stuff here uh, to decorate. So the other uh, thing that I've been using is obviously my favorite stickers. <laughs> and these ones also can be like scientific looking because they have, some of them have um, like a botanic card. So I'm going to go off camera and pick the ones that I need and I'll be back. So I think I have enough here. So what I was saying um, before was that these stickers have these ones that are like botanical uh, cards. And so they have a flower and some description. So that's more like scientific looking. I found this one. It says chocolate flower. I'm not actually sure, sure that. That is a chocolate flower. <laughs> it, is it the flower of the cocoa tree? No idea. It may, it might all be made up. Who knows? So, you know, we can put something like that in a corner. Because that's going to be like scientific looking. And we can cover the transitions. I actually can use the whole corner. And I like when the stickers go over the window. I think I'm gonna use that one. It's not chocolate, but it is not yellow. I'm not always fond of yellow. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try to go as straight as possible this i'm not going to be able to lift it and adjust it so easy so i think that looks nice and you can still see because these are transparent stickers you can still see the papers underneath and um for this part here i don't know if i want to put like a butterfly or like a plant. So 
So I picked a few of these. Or I can actually do like this one on the side. I want to look what I, I want to see what I do with this one. It's just that the orientation is different. So I think that's what's kind of throwing me off a little bit because this is the top. I think I'm gonna put some washi tape at the top. I want to use this one, but this is kind of too big for the top and I'm gonna cover all the papers like that. I like that it says numbers, but it's too wide. Maybe just this one, so yeah. So I'm gonna use this one, so if it gets, I'm gonna cover basically all of that paper. That's, I'm not sure if I like that. But what if I just, I don't cover the whole thing. I think um, I want to not cover that fully, you know, and just, oh no. Do I want it to be like that? No, I don't want it to be like that. But then I have that there. Um, no. Okay, I'm not going to use this. I can save it and put it back just because it doesn't cover as much as I want it. But I'm going to... I'm gonna cut this one where the pattern ends and start the other one. And in this case, I'm just gonna add the glue directly here. And I know I'm covering the paper, but that's okay. I mean, that's what we do when we are decorating. We're gonna cover the paper that we already had. But I just, oh, but you can still see it. That's the nice thing about washi tape. It's just that I want my top to look better than that. Because it's going to be the top. So we trim it. I'm saving all of these pieces because I might use them again. Yeah, I think that's much, much, much better. And so here in the corner, you know, I can put another butterfly or I want it kind of a paper butterfly or I have this seal where's the seal or do I I think I want to put the seal somewhere um let's see I think I like the butterfly the big one the small one Decisions, decisions. Or do I like the paper butterfly? Let's do the paper butterfly because it is kind of interesting. And so I'm going to try to put it over that intersection. I'm going to have to cut a little bit of the wings that went over, but that's okay. And a little bit of the plastic here. But it adds an interesting, well, I don't even know if I was on frame, <laughs> um, an interesting something there. So you see how this is starting to look better than before. And so I always like a green, and I know I already have green there, but I want to have something else in here. This one. I'm gonna do this one. Not so green. This is not green. It's like a it's like a fall color. Like that. And the last thing I want to do so is to put this seal kind of sticker. Um around here 
I think that's all I want to do in terms of stickers. I mean, this is how it would look like if it went in this direction. But this one's going to have to go in this direction. Um, so, the last thing I want to do before we start inking is to cut a half hole there. Not, not a half hole, a half circle. So, let's see this one. I don't want it to be too... I want to see where the middle is. Um, doesn't have to be big, 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 big. Yeah, I think this one's gonna be okay. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. I think that makes it look. Um, ooh, I think I'm all over the page here. Sorry, guys. Is that better okay so that one there makes it look more like the pocket goes in there the problem is i folded oh sticker got a piece of sticker got um stuck in there but we're not gonna fix it is there anything else i want to add i actually like that number kind of thing but it is too wide I'm gonna go back to my stickers and I'll be back. Okay, so I want to put some numbers in there. I could stamp numbers, but um, but I want I want a sticker for now. What? Let me see. I'm going back to searching for things because you know the idea is that we use the scraps so maybe I have numbers in my scraps just need to search for it and it's not taking me a while so I'll be back okay I realized that it's very easy to get trapped in the I need to use all my stickers <laughs> when I'm looking for something that's gonna look scientific and actually the paper that i'm using for protect my surface from the glue it's a it's a research article and i have the word research there and so i've been i was looking for numbers but you know i also have numbers here i don't i don't need the stickers to do that right because the whole idea of this is to use my scraps and then i go back to use my stickers which is not not a problem but i just realized that it's actually challenging not to use the things that are, that are already made for you to use so i'm just gonna cut this word um i have this other painty paper i think i'm just gonna do research there okay it's not straight, but it's okay. It's very interesting how you realize what it's challenging for you. When I'm like, <laughs> I started making these videos like, oh, we're going to use all of our, of my scraps and then, oh no. Okay not gluing and then uh, and then I get trapped by how pretty the stickers are and don't use my scraps there So I think that's all I'm gonna do for now with this one. And now we're just gonna um gonna close this. Okay, so now I'm just gonna ink all the edges. Don't forget this little thing we made 
I like to go over the corners a little bit to kind of darken the corners more. It's almost like you're doing a vignette when you are editing a picture. <laughs> um, kind of the same effect. And it frames everything you have much better. So that's it. I think that inking the edges and the corners um, makes it look so much better. I'm gonna do a close up for you. This is our pocket made of scraps. And this one's gonna have. Oh, I really like it. <laughs> Look at that. It looks super cool. You can see the inset and you can see the other, like if I move it a little bit up, I can see the numbers that I've stamped in my insect uh, specimen card. And yeah. And so I think um, next time I'll probably show you how I decorate the page in my journal with all of this stuff so maybe one idea is that i don't glue this fully and i make also the tag stop a, a tag spot to put the other journaling cards i have to decide what i'm gonna do but but yeah there you have it pockets with um envelope window envelopes and our paper scraps These are the three examples I have. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.